Welcome back to another video of Flying Fanatic Kid, where I am very sorry for the long wait. My assistant, aka mom, was gone for a week and a half for a business trip, and I was very busy with school and other stuff. But I think it's worth the long wait, and I think you'll find it's worth it too. Because I made a really cool paper airplane. I'm gonna teach you how to pour it. It's called Galactic Glider, designed by me. And I think you'll find that it's super cool because it's got these little um, uh, fins poking out, or not fins, it, like you know, little stuff poking out of the side on each end, and it creates this thing right here and it has uh, stuff poking out of the back. And also, it's got a really cool wing glitch that faces downwards instead of normally upwards. But for now, let's get folding. Okay, so for this paper airplane, you are gonna need eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper or A4 paper, and I've got this cool 24 pound Astrobytes paper. But, I recommend you use 20 pound paper so, because some of the parts get pretty hard to um, fold because it's really thick. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is just fold from the left side to the right, to the right side. And make sure it's on scent. It's, uh... you know, never mind. don't listen to me. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is unfold it and fold from the top left to the right side. So we're gonna do the water bomb base fold and then right after that, we're gonna do the petal fold. And make sure the crease goes right to the top, really sharp. But since you're doing the water bomb base, you can skip ahead if you want, but if you don't, and if you already know how to do it, but if you don't know how to do it, just stick with me and I'll teach you how to fold it. So do this exact same thing, but on the other side. Really well. Okay, now unfold the paper, flip it over, and you're gonna fold from the top until these two points hit these two points. So you're just going to bring it down until this part hits right here. And also these two parts intersect or hit right here, hit to the top. Now unfold, flip over, and now you see this little dot in the middle, poke it, and you see it pops up like this. You're just going to bring these two flaps right here and just carry it down. And once it's like this, you're going to take this, your other finger and you're just going to press it down. And now it looks like this. Okay, so now if your plane looks like this, you crease it really well. 
so it doesn't really pop up. That's okay. So you see this flap right here? You're going to open it up and stick your finger through it until it hits the top. And you're just going to squash it down. This is called a squash fold. And you're going to um, put, it, um, put it until it's all the way in the top, hits the top, and then fold it to the line and just crease it. So now that it looks like this, we're gonna do the pedal fold. So you're go just going to take this part up and you're just going to uh, fold it up until it hits the top right here. You're just going to crease the middle right here. This might be a little hard, a little hard to follow. So it, it should look like this. And now you just crease the sides. So now what you're going to do is, you're going to um, just make it pretty sharp right here. And you're going to um, fold it to the top until it looks really sharp like this. So if you didn't get that, I'll show you the same thing on the other side. So what you're going to do is, you see this little pocket? This little pocket? You're going to push it in until it um, encloses and you're going to uh, and you're going to crease. Okay. And if you didn't get those steps again, you'll still do the same exact same thing on the other side. But yeah. So squash fold again. Take this down or make it until it hits this top point right here. Align, align this crease with right here, and the crease. Okay, now you're gonna do the pedal fold, which is you're going to bring this um, part up until it hits right here. So, just do this. And if you see the, and then, Hit the point right here. Hit the point and then crease those points. And now you see these pockets? You're just going to collapse it. And then fold it to right here. This might be a little tricky, but I think you'll get it. And, do the, and you do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now put this side, put this part to this side. So now you have um, these points right here. You have these four um, like popping out like an X. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to fold it up until you see this part and you're and you got to see this these two points intersect so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it down and just don't crease the entire way just just um pop it or just uh just put a dot in like this so it just um so you know where you're gonna crease so it's just a reference point that's what it's called so what you're gonna do is you're going to collapse it like this 
well, you're just going to unfold it again. Mm -hmm. But what you're going to do now is you're going to take this part and bring it down from that point that we just referenced, from that reference point that we referenced earlier. So now it should look like this. And if you didn't get that part, I'll do the same thing on the other side. So just make the reference point and then just bring it down kind of like a water bomb base fold with these two points right here. Just kind of do a water bomb base fold. And it's gonna, it should look like this. Try to get it matched. You can uh, put it together to see if it's matched. Mine clearly is. So it's like this. You can actually make this however you like. It could be straight, it could be like that. But you just have to follow the other steps carefully. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over. See these two points poking out? You're gonna bring this down as far as it goes until right this point and this point and you're gonna uh, align it so it should look like this now on the other side it look should look like this okay so now what you're gonna do is you're going to um so you guys do you see this pocket right here this pocket you are going to um, move this in as far as it goes until you can't push it any in anymore and now you're just going to line it up with right here and you're going to crease uh, yes going to like this and now you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side see put this into the pocket um, push this into the pocket as far as it can go and then just crease Okay, so now you're almost done. So you're going to take this part right here and you're just going to um, press it in just a teeny bit. And again, it doesn't matter how far you do it. You can choose just a little bit, but make sure it's straight down parallel to right here. Okay, so now it's like that. You're going to um, match it with the other side, but just to be sure, you can fold it up and just match it. So, now you are going to open this part up or unfold, then open this part up and you're going to squash fold this like so until it's parallel like that. And you could check by looking in and I see that it's perfect. You could do the same thing and do the exact same thing on the other side. So unfold, open up. Squash fold. And this might go out of the camera, but I'm just gonna look for both. And they look perfect. So now you're gonna fold the wings. So you're gonna do this. 
so it looks like this. Set it down. And to make the wings, to make the wings, you're going to need to make this part parallel to right here. So you're going to move it down a bit. And you, um, in order to make it parallel, you, you need to check. And it is looking parallel. And it's like this. It, you should fold it until it's about about like an inch and a quarter, quarter of an inch. Like this. And it, well no, an inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter. And now, the exact same thing, but on the other side. And it's a bit easier because you could just match it up. Okay, guys, you are almost done, almost done. All you need to do now is do the winglets. You are almost done. And then I'll show you some tips after. So in order to fold the winglets, you have to make this part parallel with this part. It might be a bit tricky, but you should do it about this much. And then please, because it you need to make sure that it looks like that. I think it does doing a bit more. Does it? Yes, I think it does. So you will fold it up again and then match it, match it up. Okay, and yeah, that is perfect. And now you are complete with your galactic glider. Congratulations, you have completed this amazing creation called Galactic Glider. And first, you need to know some tips in order to make this plane fly spectacular so the first tip is you do not need to put up elevator on it it already flies well you can even throw it up and it goes up and then it keeps gliding the gliding ratio is really big and it's just good so the second tip is when you have this up you need to have this about level well, so you have to have this up, but then when it's like, when it goes down, I don't really have a locking mechanism. I'll try to find it later and tell you. But, well, if you need to have it a bit up, so then when it falls down, it's gonna land like this. Like this part is a V shape, and these are, are not drooping down. And you have to have this the same as this. Okay, um, I please subscribe, but I do not have a paper airplane that I have, that I'm gonna show you, well, that I know of, that I'm gonna show you, but I ordered a foldable flights um, book, and it's got all these templates, really nice books, and I'm planning on showing you one paper airplane that I found, but I can't tell you yet, so yeah. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.
Bye. Now, let's see this plane in flight.